Because they're getting some food. They come right out and they try to bite me. That was quick. I'm being very curious today. Because, yeah, the size. She's definitely going to be the biggest hog goes I can. That bro. Hey! Sir! Stop it. Hey! Dude! See, he's going after my fingers. Bro. Bro. Hey! Good morning, sir. Good morning, Tiny Rich. How are you, cute man? How are you doing, sir? Everybody in the house is waking up. The lights are still off. Everybody's doing real good, though. CB Kakamimi, you eating your breakfast, baby girl? You eating? Yeah. Oh, troublemaker? You're in jail, per usual, because you pee on everything, you little monster. Hello, you're so cute, though, Travis. Hi, how are you? Oh, baby toe. Hi, sweet baby. You're so cute. Welcome, y'all. So, welcome to a full day with your boy, Tyler Nolan. You know the freaking drill. So, it is 8 o'clock. We are just getting up, letting the dogs out getting everybody fed, making sure all the critters are doing great. Beautiful day out today. Amazing, look at that. Woo, real nice. Hello, mama. How are you? How are you doing, sweet babies? Hello, Drogo, sir. So today, I got a buddy coming down in town, one of my clients, he booked a while ago. His name is Tyler also, so today, you get two Tylers. Come on in, Shibi. I have to, I just wanted to do a full day video about what my day is like normally. A lot of people ask me, they're like, oh, you, got, you do a lot of things there. How do you have time for everything? I, I honestly don't know, but I'm gonna try to fit it all in one video today. Just a bunch of short little clips of just everything I have to do. So, woke up, let the dogs out, fed the dogs, fed the cat, fed the gators. Actually, I still have to feed the gators. I, the gators ate yesterday, actually, so they don't need to eat today. The monitors have not eaten in a couple days, so I'm about to thaw some food out for the monitors. Um, get some food thawed out for the Kiva monster, because they need to eat also. The lizards eat way more often than the snakes eat. Snakes only eat about once every week, once every two weeks, depending on the snake. Lizards, gators, monitors, Kiva monsters, beaded lizards, they all eat every like two or three days. So we gotta get all that food ready right now in the in the rhino iguanas, obviously. G got me this sign for the pond. Super cool, gotta put it over there. Got some tortoise channel, put some bananas and some blueberries in here for them as well. So on today's menu, we got a Burmese python for Rusty, just a small one. Got my buddy coming over, he's never seen the animals before. Just a small one to uh, show other Tyler here feeding. And then we got some medium rats for all the monitors outside. So a lot of people ask me when they come and get tattooed if they can come over to the house and see the animals. Now, in the past, I haven't really let anyone come to the house. Sometimes I do. If people come to the shop beforehand, they come out, hang out with me, talk to me, then normally, you know, if I see that you're a normal person, I let you into my house. But obviously this is my sanctuary, my house. I'm very selective on who I let people come here. So Tyler flew in yesterday. He flew in all the way from Wyoming to get tattooed today. Came into the shop, hung out with me for a few hours while I was tattooing my client. Seemed like a really cool kid. So I was like, hey bro, I was like, you got nothing to do. Why don't you come to the house tomorrow? I'll come show you all the animals before you get tattooed and it'll be a whole thing. And he was super, super pumped about it. And you guys could do that too. Next year, I'm booking for January and February right now. Hopefully I'm removed into the new location, but that's the whole, that's the goal soon. Like I would love to be able to have a facility and a bigger property to where you guys can come down, get tattooed, hang out with me, check out all the animals. It's gonna be like a whole experience for you guys. And it'll be freaking awesome. That's, that is the goal. And that's pretty much what we're gonna do today. I wanted to really show you guys what it's like all day, like from the time I wake up, what I have to do all day, go to the shop, tattoo, come home, you know what I mean? It's gonna be, this is gonna be a full day. Like right now, we literally have to run over to FedEx now and pick up a new hognose snake that I'm getting, that I'm also really excited about. So while this stuff thaws out, let's go grab that snake 
And then by that time, we'll come back over here, unbox the snake. Tyler's gonna come over. We're gonna show them all the animals. Then we're gonna head over to the shop. We're gonna tattoo all day. Renee's off today, so she's not gonna be able to help me out. But today is gonna be a lot of fun. All right, I know I was gonna wait till the other Tyler comes to the house to unbox this snake, but I can't wait. So before we go to the house, I am going to unbox this real fast because I just wanna see what she looks like. I got this snake a few weeks ago. And we've been waiting for her arrival. And she's a little bit larger than all the other ones. Ew, the packaging is interesting. So she is an albino anaconda. Possibly red phase? I mean, she's more of a redder girl. No, she's 240 grams. Oh, wow. She's so pretty. Wow. So she is definitely a lot bigger than the other ones that I have. Yeah, the size, she's definitely gonna be the biggest hog nose I have. Besides the Madagascar giant hog nose that I have, she is definitely runner up with the next biggest. Very, very cool snake. She is great. Now, I don't think she's gonna be breeding this season. It's very late in the year and she hasn't been bred since 2001. She's a 2019 baby. So she's a few years old, a little bit older than all the other ones at home, but she's very pretty. Very, very cool snake. Ah, oh, I love these guys. All right, so let's put her back, get over to the house. Tyler's gonna be there and then more fun to be had. So look how pretty she is. Beautiful red albino conda. Thank you, Paul, so much. She is a looker for sure. And look how big she is. You could tell her size with this 27 quart. She is the biggest I have for sure. So RPK Exotics, Paul, thank you so much, man. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's going on, man? This is the other Tyler. Tyler is a lifeguard from Wyoming? Yes, sir. Yes, oh, I was right. See, <laughs> earlier today when I was making the video, I was trying to remember, I was like, Wyoming, Idaho, I don't know, it's all Wyoming. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyways, tattooing Tyler today. It's his first time down here in Florida, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you think so far? Uh, it's freaking gorgeous. Yeah, it's that really nice. so outside. green. Yeah, super so. green, nice out. Um, he's never seen the animals, obviously. He's never been to Florida. He's never been here. So we're checking everything out. We're just showing him the bee lizards, which we got to feed right now. I got some rats thawing out in the sink up there. We're going to feed Rusty. He already knows he's getting a meal. He was just out pushing his nose up against everything. He's getting big. I want to take him out real quick. Okay. Just to show you. Yeah. Sounds good, right? Yeah, that's right. cool. Yeah, no, he is not a small snake. What, he's pushing probably like eight, ten feet? Ten. Easy. Let's get him out. See what we got going on. Sorry, uh, today's cameraman has three legs. We're tripod and end up today. But <laughs> let's take Rusty up. This is Rusty. Oh, okay. He's a big, big boy, right? Oh, yeah. Super cool, right? He's being very curious today because we started thawing out a Burmese python in the sink earlier. Now every time it's feeding day, he uh, he knows he can smell that animal from across the house, and he gets all look, see how inquisitive he's getting. It's just those tongue flicks. He's smelling everything. He smells that snake. So let's get him safely in his cage real quick. We're gonna go grab that Burmese python out of the sink feed him and then feed all the other animals real quick before we head over to the shop and then it's time for your sweet tattoo yeah let's get <laughs> what are we doing today we're doing a big ram uh big or horn big, big horn, horn ram sorry yes sir big horn ram on his calf in color it's gonna be tyler's first color tattoo i'm super pumped to tattoo tyler today his first color tattoo and i'm pumped to be getting tattooed i got you really all right so rusty real quick come on and so this is a pretty small this is honestly a snack for Rusty. I had this guy in the freezer ready to rock, so this is the one that we chose today. Oh, oh there he goes. See that? Got him right in the head. Very cool. So, easy enough. We're just gonna put the berm in the cage, let Rusty eat it. That thing is a small meal for him, like I said before, so he's gonna start that thing down, and no problem, won't be. I will not be having to cut this Burmese python in half like I did with the last one. <laughs> All right, it's time to feed some things. The alligators, like I said earlier, they just ate a couple days ago, so I'm not gonna feed them. But look, they're already getting pretty conditioned to everything. 
I just put my hand out here. They think that they're getting some food. They come right out and they try to bite me. That was quick, yeah. but I'm faster. Hello, bud, you're such a little turd. All right, so let's feed the big monitors. Tyson, how are you, sir? Oh. Ah, that tail, man. He's whipped me so hard that that tail opens you up. Oh, he is a savage. He's getting freaking gigantic. Oof, what a monster. Down the hatch. Down the hatch, I'm gonna throw him a couple more. Now these are medium rats and he just freaking crushes these things. Look how big he's getting. All right, Latifa. She's getting a medium rat. Hey, sweetheart. Look. Oh, yes, right away. Ah, God. Man, that freaking tail hurts. Ooh, okay, we got the feeding lizards. Hello, would you like, would you like some food, sir? Please, come on, please. Oh, it's oh. delicious. I know they take it so nicely, right? But they're jerks. Hello, would you like this, sir? Back here, the man in the back. <laughs> he is a monster, Drogo, please, chill. Hey, dude, rough. Relax, bro. I didn't even give that to you yet, yeah, yeah, dude. Relax, man. They're cool though, right? Oh, yeah. Totally. Just watch out for him. He's not like, watch, watch he's not ankles. like super aggressive. He's just like, he gets really see. excited about food and then he tries to freaking, tries to grab everything. Yeah. yeah, be careful with your hand right there. Yeah, see that? <laughs> see, he just gave you a little, tried to fake you out there real quick. You jerk. Oh, that, bro. Hey, sir. Stop it. Hey, dude. See, he's going after my fingers. Bro, re hey. <laughs> relax, dude. <laughs> Gotta be quick. He tries to get you. All right. We are finishing up this stencil, finally. At the shop. You ready, bro? I oh, am. Yeah. I'm ready. Got everybody in the house today. Look, even freaking Randall is here today. Whoa, crazy. Where have you been, bro? All right, before we get started, Shout out Maverick Needles. This is what I use, guys. Every tattoo. Sweet. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh. All right. Yo, T, you ready? Oh, yeah. All right, let's get it. Everybody else is lollygagging. What are you doing? You gonna feed me? Oh, God, what is this problem? Bro, that's what I got for trusting. Eric's got a feeder fetish. He's like one of those people that he goes home and just jerks it, thinking about thinking about giving you guys treats on there. Yep. He's like, oh, I fed him, I'm like, I'm so fat. God, <laughs> what is his problem? You guys are the worst. God. All right, let's get to work. Oh, there's the line work. Line work and some black. Looking good. Now we're taking a little break. And another thing that you guys get to do when you come down here, if you do that, we like to come outside for breaks. We stand in a circle and we all cough together. All right. All right, we've got a lot further since the last time we showed you. But we're getting there. Just pretty much got the horns left, eyeball, and that little snoop. We should get in there. Oh, all right, that's better. Dang, dude. Look at this thing. She nice and smooth. Little neo traditional big horn sheep, baby. Looking good. I love this color blend right here. Check that out. Ooh. That mint green to the yellow. Real smooth, like. Uh, dig it. I did that thing fast as shit, too. Which thing, T? Nope. Nope. Oh yeah. You haven't even really seen it too close yet. But I'll show you this video so you can see. What you doing over here, Chattahoochee? Just some dots. Some dots? Oh, dang. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's Real fancy one. Pretty sweet thing. His arm is freaking tight, oh, dude. Hold on, let me get a better angle of this. Dude, that thing looks... Dude, I love the way it comes down on the hand like that. That is really freaking tight, dude. Shit, yeah, his whole arm looks good. Oh yeah, it's like you know what you're doing or something. 
Make sure you guys go follow my brother if you're not already. He's been crushing the YouTube game, baby. You got what? A couple of videos that are over 500,000? You have any? You have one on a million yet? Almost a million? What's your highest video right now? Nine, nine. Dang, nine, nine. That's a lot of mother freakers watching shit. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Well, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Tyler, did you have fun? I did. Do you recommend anybody come here and come spend the day with me and get tatted? Tyler's dope dude. He does get tats. Just not bad. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. So, until next time, guys. Um, booking information, TylerOneBooking at gmail.com. We're booking for next year, January, February, March area. So hit me up to get locked in for that. They're filling up pretty quickly. Obviously, you guys know at the end of the year, I'm having a kid, so everything's going to be pretty crazy. So get in while you can. Next year, I'm only working three days a week. So, all right. Until next time, guys. We Addy. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of this day. Me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She needs the flow with her designer panties. Yeah, we eatin' plenty, check the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet the sign a major for the bank roll, but thank the Lord that it dies at penitentiary. Nice guy, but my inside is empty. I'm mighty flashy with a bird's eye. Scribble gems to get my pockets lined till I get arthritis. Wish my heart is icy, walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody. Queen, like tell it cloudy or the poison ivy. If I'm like a stroller with a coast sign me, I don't even like me. Long staring in the